All right, guys, what is up today? I um, decided to go live a little bit early in the space of things. There we go. Well, there's, this is my living room for those of you guys that are newer into my world. I have not done a live from my living room yet, but I am doing a live down here today. I was actually working all weekend on my kitchen table doing work from this space. I needed a bigger arena, let's just say, for the work I was doing this weekend. So I was sitting here um, at my kitchen table and I haven't moved anything yet. And I don't know, I think I might play from this space today. And hi, sometimes I, may, I post this actual video onto YouTube as well sometimes. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, because if I decide to make that post, just know I go live on Facebook and this is where I pull it from. So I am jumping into your field today to have a discussion with you about breath and about breathing. And you may be like, Colleen, we talk about this often and mm, why are you bringing this up today? Because this is one of the most imperative tools and assets we have in our field. This is the asset that allows us to move energy through our body. This is the asset that allows us to drop back into our physical form to be able to handle energy, handle life, handle circumstances, handle the shitstorms that may be popping up into our field. This is a tool that our physical form actually has to connect in with divine. Now, I just started reading a book. Um, in about four weeks, I'm being interviewed on a podcast, and she asked if I would read two volumes of books before I get onto the podcast to have conversations with her. So for some of you that don't know, I've um, done a lot of work in the Kybalion energy and Emerald tablets. And if you don't know what those are, but it's like ancient scripture, let's say, kind of like the Bible, but not really, because they were like the Emerald tablets were channeled in from Atlantis and 13,000, 16,000 years ago. Um, so it's like, they're really ancient script. They were written obviously in a language that was then translated into English and a lot of Egyptian lineage energy lines. And I actually taught a program on it last year in connection with bringing those together and what they actually meant. It was actually one of the coolest programs ever. Um, I am now currently reading, so The Ancient Secret of the Flower of Life. And this is volume one. I need to read both the volumes before this interview uh, near the end of August and now I'm all, I, I wouldn't, if I started reading these a couple months ago, I would have to reread them because I, I would just need to be reconnected back in the energy field. So I chose to make it a very short period of time in the space that I'm reading. But the first like introduction of this book talks about our breath and talks about how the energy around our bodies um, is called like the Merkaba energy. If you guys even look it up in sacred geometry, the way our, our energies flow is through a Merkaba of energy. And the flower of life, sacred geometry, is like a foundational energy in who we are as human beings. And this is kind of like out there information um, inside of the space of things, but why I'm showing this to you today, why I'm conversing with you about this today is the breath and the aspect of the breath. When we moved from a certain transition, when Atlantis fell and a lot of the narratives of what Atlantis held collapsed in the world, we were then positioned in this 3D energy of more density. We lost our abilities to, well, we didn't lose them. We forgot our abilities uh, of telepathic communication. We forgot our abilities of speaking light language and channeling light language uh, and being able to speak to that to individuals. We forgot you know, our uh, third eye and the connection to divine and how that led in, in the world. And, the only key that we kept within our physical forms, but it changed and moved as we became more density, meaning we came into more of this earth form instead of <clears throat> these higher vibrational beings on earth, we dropped into this density was our breath. Now it moved and it shifted from what it was before in those bodies to what it is today for us because we breathe through the nasal passage in the mouth, which then accelerates the body. Without the breath, the body cannot be life. Right, if we think about that, what a cool tool. So why I'm bringing this up in our field today is as we move through the dynamics of our life, as we accelerate our energy, as we activate our energy, as we clear our energy, as we go through the humanness of 
getting deeper into the root of our shadow and pulling up all the things in our shadow that needs to be healed or the things that need to maneuver in our world, we will come back to the breath. And every time we breathe and we use the breath as a pulse point and we allow ourselves to breathe, breathe through things, we open up a passageway of this expansion and opening. And so I desire you today to have this and to take this understanding into your awareness to be like, okay, so we can use the breath for all different kinds of things. We can use the breath to clear our energy, to clear emotions out of the body, to regroup inside of the space. We can also use our breath to accelerate energy through the body. Now, if you know anything about Tantra or like tantric sets or you know different dynamics of our physical form of using the breath We can use the breath to move energy through the body. We can use it to have orgasms in the body We can use it to expand energies and certain capacities in our muscle groups We could use it to contract certain energies in our muscle groups We can restrict the breath to be able to find roots of energy inside of our bodies it is a fucking cool tool. And as I was reading last night in remembrance of this and how it showed up first, because this is like ancient information. This is like hidden information that wasn't meant to be hidden, but ended up being hidden in the world because of the infrastructures of what played out on the earth plane. When we understand the truth of our energetic bodies, the truth of why we're here, the truth of what we're capable of in the world, then we become our truth, which means that we are unstoppable. And not that we want to be unstoppable in a way of like fighting, but we become an unstoppable energetic force that allows others to step up into the space, that allows others to be able to move through dynamics, that allows others to be able to maneuver with us, right? And our light shines brighter in the world inside of this space. It is said, so I chatted once with, um, so you guys have heard me talk about, and you may have or have not heard me talk about copper harmonizers. So there's a guy at the market who builds them, who frequents, like literally creates frequencies with them, who measures the frequency out of with each copper wire. It is like the coolest endeavor. This is not just like, oh, let's go buy some copper. This is like potently aligned in a power of energy. When we were there and met him a few months ago, my uh, girlfriend's son was moving back to Canada from Costa Rica. And she says to him, what, what do you suggest for him? And he goes, he needs to breathe. And he needs to use his breath to move energy out of his body. Our breath is an electromagnetic field. It literally is. And it can expand energy outward. When we breathe, we release into the space of things. And it's really funny because this morning, uh, I'm running around doing stuff, getting the pups all occupied, getting, they're running around the yard doing their thing. I'm getting the last email out. I have uh, some towels in the laundry. I'm trying to make a coffee. For those of you guys that don't know, my coffee takes like 20 minutes to make because it's a pour over coffee. So it's like every time it's gotta go through the pack, like the, the pouch like four or five times in order to get a cup. So it's like a whole big endeavor thing. And I wouldn't change it for the world. It's part of like who I am, the mechanism of what moves through my field. I love this, it's like, it's a thing. But I'm running around in the field and I drop in to get something done before I go live here today. And, I'm, and I hear, you need to go into breath work after you're done your live. And I went, okay, I will. And how I go into breath work when this drops in like this is whatever I feel I need at the moment. That's how I do breath work inside of the space. Am I fast pacing it? Am I long breathing it? Am I moving both through? Am I holding? Am I box breathing? There's all these ways we can use the breath. I understand the dynamics of what I'm moving through. So I'm like, okay, I think I've got a feel over this. But once I drop in, I go into a meditative state and then I allow the body to breathe what it needs to to release it out. Um, it will show me what it needs. It will tell me what it needs. And my job is to honor and move that through. And I will use that as one of my expanders today in order to get into the energetic field that I am here to create with, to move with, to feel into. So I challenge you today to feel into this. What does this mean for you? 
do you have energy to move? Do you have energy you want to move into the world in a certain way? Is there a certain aspect that's calling forth for your own calibration today? Is this a tool that you want to be reminded of to be using? I know this book is going to go deeper into the energetics of all of this. I surface level, kind of high leveled information for you today to remind us that we have this tool on purpose. And sure, you can make up like our physical body needs the air and that's how we live. But if we actually really look at that, and if we think about there's four bodies, right? We have our spiritual energetic body, we have our emotional body, we have our mental body, and we have our physical body. So if the breath serves one body, it serves all four bodies because all four bodies are attached in together. They're all working together. They're all moving together. They're all maneuvering in the space of things together. So if that's true, which we know it to be true because the breath serves the physical form, the breath is serving all of our bodies. So how can you start to look at it that way? To use it as a tool. So instead of having the meltdown or instead of letting the stress come through or you're in confusion, let's say right now, and you're like, I don't know what to do. Stop, close your eyes, bring in breath to move out confusion. And it's like, it sounds that easy but it really is that easy. And it's like, I said to um, the people on my soul business experience call, so I have a container, it's a portal, it's a six month portal where spiritual business owners come in and we build their brands, their businesses, and we get them set up in the space of things. I teach every two weeks. There's a mastermind component for those that decide that they wanna do that as well, which was an upgraded level. And we were on a mastermind call on Friday. And I said to them on the call, I was like, guys, we are over complicating this. Us as humans have this tendency to over complicate shit all the fucking time, right? It's like, we think it needs to be hard. We think it needs to be this. And it's like, pair it back into simplicity. The breath, our breathing is simple. It doesn't mean it's always easy to do because we forget about this tool. We were never taught about this tool unless you had really awakened parents, which most of us didn't. But we desire to be awakened grandparents now or we desire to help our kids still in an awakened state, right? So it's like we're moving that through now into the field and changing the rhythm in our ancestral lineage line and in the way we show up in the world in that connection within certain things. And it's different now. But we, as the human that is leading this charge, wherever we're leading in the world, whether it's in our businesses, in our life, with our families, in our communities, wherever it is that you're leading, is calling forth now for us to remember these tools, to remember the potency of our power, to remember our truth, to remember why we're here, to remember the gifts and talents we bring to the earth, and to step the fuck in. So using breath and breathing is one of those tools that you get for free. You just now need to remember. So that's what I was directed to speak into this morning, into our fields of possibility for us to move within this awareness, for us to acknowledge this in our life, for us to move this energy through as we maneuver in the world. And it's like, where can you breathe? Where can you breathe into life today? Where can you move energy through into life today? And I look forward to feeling what I am about to move through in this next field um, because something's about to shift in my space too. So I'm gonna go let it. And I'm gonna go bring it into my field and bring it up into the space of things and then do the work around whatever's showing up if that's what's being called of me. But I'm all in. So all I'm asking you is, are you all in on your life too? You don't have to be, but it's a question now moving through the field. So. I love you guys, and I will see you all soon. Have a great day.